Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and tonight I'm here to let you know that I've accepted the challenge, hashtag show your hooks. Now our friends KK and Kristen at K&K Crochet put out this challenge to all of us about a week ago to share our hook collections with you all. Now I've enjoyed watching all the videos that all our friends have been putting out there. So I thought I would take this opportunity to actually collect all my hooks and show you what my collection is. Now to my surprise, I have a lot more hooks, well a variety of hooks that I thought I did, but I by have no means been able to collect all of them to show you each and every hook tonight, which of course would take way too long anyway. So um, this just reinforces in my mind that I've got way too many whips with may way too many hooks in there. So I need to spend some time doing a little bit of a spring clean here in the next few weeks. And I'm sure that I will discover many, many more amazing hooks. But I will give you a little overview of the variety of hooks that I have collected over the last couple of years, possibly three years now. And to my surprise, it is a lot more than I actually thought. And at the very end, I will share with you my absolute favorite hooks. Now, I'm a little bit sad to say at this point in time, but I hope to find it in the future. I don't have my most sentimental hook with me, which is the first hook I learned to crochet with. Um, in the last few years and I created my beautiful granny square blanket with that my very first crochet project um, And it is just a boy hook and it's a five millimeter and I am sure that it is floating around somewhere So I hope to locate it sooner than later But speaking of boy hooks one of the first collections that I purchased and it was um, on Amazon Because I needed to have more than just one hook in my repertoire because I was going to be a you know uh, hardcore crocheter I you know had caught the bug very early on when I started I got this little pack here now I think most of us would have this in our collection or something similar it is a PVC little case and it houses um, like a myriad of hooks every size you can imagine let me just say as you can see there's a little zipper and when you open it up you have all these wonderful hooks in there from the very very finest at this end to the thickest one here which is about a six millimeter hook i believe let me just get my glasses now these are in measurements that are um very common so 6.5 actually but they also have like the 5.75 millimeters and you know the quarter like uh 4.25 and what have you which aren't very um common here in australia but because we do purchase product from overseas now we also get them here so this is a great starter kit i believe and i don't mind using the uh, like the metal hooks at all they were the very first ones as i said that i learned to crochet with so they have a special place in my heart of course but this is a great little pack or pouch to have with you when you're traveling because you never know which hook size you might need so this was one of the very very first um, collections that I purchased after the very first hook that I bought from spotlight the five millimeter hook as I said now after that um, you know as I was looking um, through my collection I realized that in the past I had also started collecting hooks over the years because I always wanted to be a crocheter and I had found these here again just very basic hooks most of them are metal but there are some plastic as well and they're quite fine and they're not very um comfortable to use because they do you know like because they're so small they've got the writing on them and um it's you know where your finger sits it does you know after a while start to hurt but again you know these are vintage hooks guys so they're never going to leave my collection because i am a collector after all but i'm trying to see the brand name because they're very they're not familiar at all um like i can't actually even see oh aero aero i'm not sure if you guys have used these hooks before if you can even see that name there with the light and this one is a inox i-n-o-x so these are brands that i've never actually really take and a, i've got a tulip hook here which are very popular now with the ergonomic you know with the rubbery um, ends 
So this is uh, this one is made in England. That's all it says on it. So these are actually awesome hooks to have in one's collection. Even if I, you know, don't really use them, I'm so happy to have them um, because I'm sure they've been passed down from generation to generation. And I, again, these aren't um, something that you know I have you know been looking for in the stores. They just happen to be lying around. But what I'm going to share with you next are very similar hooks and I know exactly where they came from. And there are some very, very tiny hooks here, guys. Look how short some of these are compared to, you know, the hooks of today. Um, these are, oh my goodness. So this is, if I do that, you'll see all the different heights of the hooks. And again, these brands are Aero, for example, made in England and some other brands that i'm not familiar with and the writing is tiny so it's so hard to see but most of these are made in england and this collection is very very special and dear to my heart my partner's um, sister-in-law she gifted these to me these used to be her mum's crochet hooks she has only just recently left us at the wonderful age of 96 bless and i have these as a keepsake um because lisa didn't um, have any use for them but she knew that i would treasure them and i absolutely will so there's some vintage hooks that are in my collection i may not use them um, very often but they are certainly there making me smile every time i see them now of course you're meant to use our hooks guys i know that but you know as collectors you know you understand the value of them as well but um all the other hooks that i'll show you the majority of them i do use now i started to purchase chunkier yarn you know um, in the last year or so so i decided that i actually needed some chunkier hooks so bigger size hooks now this isn't all of them by no means but this little set i think came with about six in there and they're just a generic brand that you just buy on amazon and um a tip for these if you haven't already heard of this tip before because they do kind of drag on your yarn when you first start to use them if you um, rub them with a cloth um, to get whatever coating is on there off you'll see that or even just by using them as you're crocheting they will actually be very easy to use and I quite enjoy using these hooks as well so I'm glad I have them in my collection but there's about three in other project bags I know I've got a 10 millimeter and a nine an eight a seven I think a six six and a half so they're sitting around somewhere else but they're great hooks and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on your hooks I believe these with some uh, stitch markers were only about 10 11 dollars uh, for the whole set so i thought that was really good value once again on amazon um i know that there's other you know um ways you can purchase um other areas like timu i have never bought from there so i'm guessing the prices might be even better now but that's when i purchased them and then i went super chunky guys wait till you see these chunkers <laughs> oh my goodness look at these the biggest hook here is a 25 i have not um actually used any of these to date and the reason why i had purchased these is my future daughter-in-law she wanted one of those um hand knitted jumpers uh yeah jumpers and i made her a cardigan in actual fact and i thought that i'd be able to use a hook for it but it was impossible for me at the time very difficult but i did learn how to hand knit it and it turned out really really pretty i think i've shown you that photo mm, i should have bought it today but anyway so they are sitting in my collection waiting to be used don't know when but who knows i have a lot of blanket yarn in my um you know yarn stash who knows i might be able to use it for one of you know some of that yarn now the other set of hooks that i've got here are actually the polymer clay hooks now this gorgeous bag uh pouch let me open it up for you came with one of my crochet society boxes that's what the outside looks like and inside here you've got room for all your hooks and this is by no means the um collection that i have for my crochet society hooks but i will show you what's just sitting in there 
because I have at the very least, I would say 20 polymer clay hooks sitting in the boxes from Crochet Society. And I probably need to take them all out and start using them all because um, I have actually been enjoying using the polymer clay hooks, which is something that I didn't think that um, I would actually feel comfortable doing because I'm actually a pencil grip holder when I crochet, not a knife. And I thought they were more um, suited to someone who crochets like this. But thanks to you guys helping me crochet something from each um, crochet society box that I purchase. I've actually been using the hooks that actually come in the boxes as well. And I'm actually getting, um, you know, better at using them, um, more familiar with them and more comfortable. So as I said, I've got at least, I'm guesstimating at least 20 polymer clay hooks from Crochet Society. So they're going to be kept in this pouch and probably have to store them somewhere else as well. So they're, you know, floating around in this yarn room. So that's that little set of um, polymer clay hooks there. Now, another way that I actually acquire hooks is through all the magazines that I buy. Oops. So Crochet Now and Simply Crochet, they usually come with some sort of gift. And a lot of the times, like many of the times, we actually get hooks in there. So, and here's another little set that I got recently. So I probably have, oops, excuse me, I dropped one hook. You probably heard it. This one actually came out of one of the Crochet Now magazines too. And I have used this one oh, for many, many projects. So number uh, six millimeter, which is one of my favorite size hooks. So this came, you know, uh, as a gift with purchase in one of the magazines. So they are, most of the time they do offer you a nice gift with purchase. And I guess I'm a little bit addicted to buying the magazines because of that, but hey, I do enjoy reading them as well. And sometimes I do make a project out of them. That's another goal, I think, for next year to try to make something out of the magazines. And then there was the craze for Tunisian crocheting that started and everybody was talking about it. And this was about a year ago. So, of course, off I went to Spotlight and I purchased one um, Tunisian crochet hook, a five millimeter. And I was fascinated by it at the time. And I actually created this little swatch here that I'll show you. And I did seven, um, sorry, six different stitches. And after creating this little swatch, I was convinced that I was going to master Tunisian crochet. And one day I hope to get better at it. So what did I do? I hopped on Amazon, guys. Sorry about all the noise. And I purchased all the different sizes. I absolutely love all these hooks. But as I, you know, watched more and more YouTube videos on the different types of, you know, Tunisian crochet, I realized very quickly that, oops, sorry about the noise, that if you wanted to create a larger project, you were going to need hooks that actually had um, some, sort, some sort of extendable um, piece to them. And these actually came with the um, crochet hooks that I purchased. Here's one here. Here's a little one, guys. So with these, you can actually make a longer project. I guess knitters are more familiar. It's like a cable. Um, it's very bendy. Um, they're not the best quality um, hooks. I haven't actually used them, so I'm not sure what they're like to use to crochet. But you know what? They're very pretty colours. They're here for me to play with and, you know, see if I can actually create something bigger other than a small block or some sort. You know, this will be for a blanket or something like that. So I definitely have the tools I need for Tunisian crochet. I have all the resources and you know the youtube tutorials and books that you can purchase on it now i just have to put in the time and that is one of my goals for 2023 so let's see how we go with that one now something else that i've always seen other people use and i thought wow that would be awesome to have especially for night time were the light up hooks and in this little pouch here i actually have a collection of um a light up hook set here is um, the adapter that you plug in and you charge it. And this is the one, the one hook that you get with it. 
but it's got the little interchangeable heads so all the different sizes and there is a little tiny tool here like a little spanner i guess that's what you call it and it helps you you know take them off remove them and then put the other one on i have used this a couple of times not too many but it does work you know in the night it does light up your stitches um it's just a matter of getting used to it um so that's something i'm glad i have in my collection because it almost makes it complete right guys <laughs> as i said collectors we need to have as many as much variety as we can now um with the uh bella coco range so sarah jane put out a whole bella coco range some of you may be familiar with it and with it came the athena hooks and this is just a little stand for it. Now, I'll just take one out to show you what's so different about these hooks. Now, the top bit, it's quite simple to, like, easy to use. It's very similar. The This part, the hook part is very similar to her uh, polymer clay um, hooks. But it's the handle that is so different to all the others. It's got a very, very pointy end. If you can see that and the good thing about them is that they are molded to fit into your hand doesn't matter which way you hold it because it's got so many grooves and dips and things in it so they are a nice hook to use even though they do look a little bit space age when you first look at them and they came with a little collection which i purchased last year when she put out the her own collection so they're sitting there and i do dip into them when i do need um you know a similar hook that I've got in another project bag so I showed you everything else everything but my favorite favorite hooks now when I was able to purchase these hooks because I did save up for them all I kept seeing everyone comment you know when I was at my very early stages of crocheting they kept mentioning the clover amore hooks they live in this very cute pouch this is from um, sports girl here in Australia um, and I absolutely love them. This is not all of them. I do have a few more, but they are floating in um, other bags. I think the largest size I have is a seven millimeter and the smallest is a 2.5, I think. I absolutely love these hooks. And my most favorite hook of all is the six millimeter. I seem to crochet most of my projects with this hook. So these are my absolute favorites. I actually bought them in a little set so it was um, very cost effective that way. And if I was ever able to purchase some more um, Clover and more hooks, I definitely would, because as I said, they are the most comfortable for me. And I know that many of you enjoy working with the Clover and more hooks as well, but I absolutely love them. And if I had to choose one hook, as we all know, you will get asked that question all the time. For me, it would definitely 100% be my six millimeter Clover and more hook. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed, you know, seeing my little collection. Um, if I had to sit here, like I said, and show you each and every individual one would be here all night. I didn't realize that I was very lucky to have such an extensive collection of hooks. Um, I don't really think that I need to purchase any more, so I definitely won't be. But um, if I ever did see the clovers on sale, I might be very, very tempted. So thank you for hanging out with me and letting me share um, and show you my hooks. Um, and thank you, KK and Kristen, for putting out the challenge. Challenge accepted and challenge completed. So I will leave the hashtag down below. So if you guys want to see other people's hook collection, you can put that in the little search um, area on YouTube and you can see theirs as well. So thank you so very, very much once again. I hope you're all well. Take care and I shall see you all again in another video. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.